The 2023 Kink Launch is the second worst bike in Kink's 2023 lineup. I don't mean to phrase it that way, but, but it is. It's a step up from the curb, so it's the second worst. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This bike is mostly high tensile steel with a teeny tiny bit of chromoly. It's fairly affordable, but it's not really that good of a bike. Let's talk about this bike. Let's see if it's the right bike for you. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that there is to know about the 2023 Kink launch. Make sure you stay until the end of the video, because at the end, I'm going to be real with you and I'm going to tell you whether or not I recommend this bike at all. So let's get right into the video. There are five common questions that everybody has about the Kink launch. The first one is how much does it weigh? The Kink Launch weighs 26.6 pounds. How much does it cost? The Kink Launch is gonna cost $449. Is the Kink Launch upgradable? Yes, the Kink Launch is fully upgradable and fully customizable. So you can replace these parts with any part that you want. Does it come with pegs? No, the Kink Launch doesn't come with any pegs or any hub guards. Does it come with brakes? Yeah, the Kink Launch is gonna come with a standard U-brake made by Mission. So the Kink Launch is available in three different color options. These color options are brand new to 2023 and it's only available in one top tube size. Those three color options are Matte Midnight Black, Cosmos Magenta, and Galaxy Silver. Now buying the correct bike is crucial to actually enjoying and progressing at BMX. If you want my help finding the perfect BMX bike, click the link up here on the screen or in the description to request a free bike recommendation. I'm gonna look at your information and I'll find you three bikes that are perfect for you. I'll send you an email with links to those three bikes and it's gonna narrow down your search from 90 different bikes all the way down to three bikes. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. So let's talk about the sizing of the bike to determine if this bike is actually gonna be a good fit for you. The top tube size is 20.25 inches, and this is gonna make it best for riders who are between five foot three and five foot six. If you're bigger or smaller than this, you can still ride the bike. It's gonna make it harder to progress. The bike's not gonna feel as comfortable. It's just gonna make your riding experience subpar at best. There are four other geometries on this frame that will have an effect on how the bike handles. They're not as crucial as top tube size, but they will still affect how the bike feels. Those four geometries are head tube angle, bottom bracket height, stand over height, and chain stay length. The head tube angle on the kink launch is 75 degrees. The stand over height is 8.75 inches. The chain stay length is 13.2 inches and the bottom bracket height is 11.6 inches. This is all pretty standard geometry. The only oddball here is the 8.75 inch standover height, which is a quarter of an inch smaller than most BMX bikes. This quarter of an inch doesn't have a huge effect over how the bike handles, and ultimately it's gonna be a better fit for the five foot three to five foot six rider who would be riding this smaller top tube size. The geometries of the parts on the bike will also have an effect here, so understanding these geometries will help you determine if this is a perfect bike for you or not. The forks have a 32 millimeter offset. The handlebars are 8.75 inches tall, and we don't know how wide they are. I'm gonna guess they're about 30 inches wide because that's standard for complete bikes, but I don't know for sure. It comes with a top load stem with 32 millimeters of rise and 50 millimeters of reach. The kink launch has a 25-9 gear ratio and everything is on the right hand side. The quality is gonna determine how long your bike will last you and how it's gonna hold up to certain levels of riding. It's best to get the highest quality that you can afford. The frame on the kink launch is full high tensile steel. And as you can see by this graph, high tensile steel is the lowest quality option. If you can afford full chromoly, that's the way to go. If you can't afford full chromoly, you're gonna have to settle with high tensile steel. Just know it's about four times weaker than chromoly. It bends a lot easier, it just doesn't last as long. The forks on the kink launch do have a little bit of chromoly. They have a chromoly steer tube, which means the steer tube is full chromoly, but the fork legs are high tensile steel. Having the full chromoly steer tube beefs up the forks a little bit, but the high tensile steel fork legs can still bend over time, especially when you case jumps or do disasters on quarters. The handlebar quality is full high tensile steel. These are two piece handlebars. The cranks are full chromoly. These are three piece eight spline cranks. The rims on the kink launch are both single wall rims front and back. Let's talk about the part package and see what some of the highlights and some of the lowlights are. 
The kink launch comes with aftermarket kink hemlock pedals and an aftermarket kink bold HRD stem. It also has a sealed integrated headset and a sealed bottom bracket. Some of the lowlights on this bike are the weak 410 chain, the non-removable brake mounts, the fact that it doesn't come with any pegs or hub guards, and the unsealed front hub. Now let's talk about how this bike scored in quality compared to other bikes and discuss the weight limit for the bike. This information is determined by the Dugster Bob app, which takes all the information there is about the bike and puts out a quality score, scores for how good it is in street park and dirt, a weight limit, and so much more. This app is available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. The Kink Launch has a quality score of 1.7 out of 10, making it a fairly low quality BMX bike. And because of that, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone who weighs over 130 pounds. This is just because heavier riders are gonna stress out the weaker components on this bike and the bike's not gonna last very long for them. Certain bikes are better for certain types of riding. Let's take a look at the Kink Launch and see what type of riding this bike is best for. Remember, you can upgrade parts and change these scores at any time after you have the bike. The Kink Launch is best for riding dirt jumps and skate parks. It scores a 1.56 in street, a 2.82 in park, and a 3.08 in dirt. If you did get this bike, these are the first three upgrades that I would make. First, I'd buy some wheels with double wall rims and sealed hubs. Next, I would buy some new lighter tires. The 2.4 inch kink sever tires really aren't that good. And then I would upgrade it with full chromoly bars. So here's the deal. The kink launch does step up the quality from the kink curb. If you were looking at the kink curb and you want a little bit higher quality bike, go for the kink launch, but it's really not that good of a bike. It's full high tensile steel with a little bit of chromoly in the forks. Everything is sealed for the most part, except the front hub, which isn't the end of the world, but it's the quality is just really low. If you're between five foot three and five foot six and you weigh under 130 pounds, this bike isn't gonna be a bad choice for you, but it's still really low quality. And what I want you to be prepared for and expect is as you progress and as you become a better rider, parts on this bike are gonna break and you're gonna need to upgrade it. It's not the end of the world. It's something that happens with all bike. Just know the high tensile steel on here isn't gonna last as long as the chromoly that's found on the kink whip, on the kink cloud, or any other higher quality bike. If you just plan to get into the sport and ride for a little bit and you're not too concerned about the bike lasting you multiple years, get this bike, have some fun, don't worry about it. But if you're over the weight limit and you're more experienced, stay away from this bike. You need something much higher quality. So that's my thought on the Kink launch. Let me know in the comments which bike I should review next. This video up here on the screen is a video of me talking about every single bike in Kink's lineup. You're gonna love this video because I go super in depth. Make sure you check that out.